guys may or may not know that I've got myself signed up in this Onyx build challenge that we have to stay on budget and build a rig. The day has come, the Onyx build is on. Let me explain this to you. We take our stock vehicle down and we're gonna do some sort of a challenge and hopefully I can win this challenge and get some money towards my build. So they give us X amount of dollars to build this rig and I have to stay under budget and every challenge I win will earn me money towards that. So we've got to run down to the cars and get this thing. We haven't driven it for two years, I think. <laughs> She's a runner. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't tell you, but there's no brakes. No, there's no brakes. Last time I drove it, it was terrible then. So I'm sure it hasn't got any better. We're just gonna go drag it out with a tow truck. We'll load it on the rollback and get it back here and see if we can make it run and assess how much work we've got to do on it in a couple of days to get it ready to go for the Onyx Challenge. We're gonna to try to win. I mean, it's a piece of junk right now, but it's gonna be good. We've got big plans, and we'll tell you these plans as we're building it. Let's go. just a lot of stuff in a little tiny spot so this is the girl 1953 or 52 maybe 54 willie's wagon game plan diesel powered one tons 37 inch tires i think is what we're gonna go with nothing but the finest 283 probably gonna need some carburation work because front two tires are pumped up the back one are flat Look inside, this is my favorite part. If you're out wheeling and you get tired of it, you just think you're in a boat because it's got boat seats. That's, I just, I just screw those down to the floor somewhere there. And they'll be fine. Wow. <laughs> wow is right. Wow. There's, no words. There's a lot that has to be done to this. A little rusty? A little, here and there. I like our odds, man. I... Will it run and drive on a trail at Sand Hollow? You bet you <laughs> but it will. <laughs> It'll ride, it's fine. How are we gonna get it out of here? That's heavy. Man, it's very heavy. It's really heavy. It's got some stuff in there. It's really good stuff. I'm not a hoarder and I don't have a problem, like Michelle says. I don't Debatable. know. I, <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we push this forward over there. When did you get that one? What one? This is my Cornet. Oh, we had to move that one to, to that's right. This, maybe this summer, just depending on how things go, but Merlin has that Hemi with the blower on it that needs to set in the hood of this and we need to turn this into a gasser. That's the plan for this car. I paid $20 for this car back in the day. You've had it that long? I've had a long time. And I collected all the glass for it. It's all in here. Every bit of glass that this needs other than a front window is in this car. So I just need to do it. We could make a full loop in here if this was out of the way. Could. Good. I could just hook on, drive it right down and out of there.
good. Whatever they have wrapped around this leaf spring over here is probably fine. We are gonna make this run. Going wheeling in Sand Hollow, so that's the game plan. Let's make it run. Um, first things first, where's the dipstick located? Let's see if we got a milkshake. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. You know that song? Fergie? Yeah. I've heard it, but I don't. <laughs> I see, yeah, there's no, there's no water in it and it's full. That's good. So, I mean, basically we should probably just throw a battery in it and start it. We've got plans for this thing that don't really involve any of this factory running gear or any of this stuff. We have to take it as is to this challenge. So we might as well see if it runs still. And if it'll run, well then we'll worry about it. If it doesn't run, we need to pull the motor out. I'm pretty sure there's all of the battery stuff. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a bunch of work, but geez, everything we do is a bunch of work, right? No hey, metal. I opened this. But it's my bad, it's for you. Really? This is your mail. Oh, so it's a box. Read the side of the box. The milk other duds. side. Yeah. Oh, geez. You got a whole box of milk duds. Dude, <laughs> someone's awesome. Got my Pepsi, my milk duds. So we're good to go. Sean, great job helping your uncle out on his predicament with the truck and trailer. Milk duds are Larry's favorite, our best to the whole crew. <laughs> from Larry and Barbie. Thank you. I didn't expect that, but that's awesome. Thanks, guys. So where's the gas line? That's right to the... Yeah, the, the, we, did, we just had this and a rattle pump hooked in here. And oh, gotcha. Yeah, we just had some stuff Let going see. on. Let me, let me try the key switcher thing and see if it actually does what it's supposed to do before we try yeah, these seats. Oh, yeah. Dude, I feel like I could be on Lake Powell fishing right now in this boat. I think we're just gonna screw these down for the challenge and we're taking them. Who's riding with me during the challenge? Hunter. <laughs> he was fast. That was that. quick. That was really. quick. Hunter, if you come, come around the other side, look. You don't even have to be scared. Nine. <laughs> oh, yeah. One to nine. Oh, yeah. So don't for even sure. get worried. Yep. You can you can walk nine probably. That doesn't sound very good, does it? Yeah, it doesn't sound like it really wants to do much. Well, that's like everything else in our life, more work. Okay. Can we just grab the the front here and Oh! Oh, jeez! She's tight. Uh, does it have a bolt in the front? Oh, see if you can get something on the flywheel. It had everything on it. It shouldn't have got water in it. Freeze plugs seem to be intact over here. So, I'm optimistic. Let's see if we can get her turning over. If we can turn it over, she'll run. Can't get in anywhere? Should we put down the hoist? Yeah. Let's get the air pumper up the device. You wanna do this? Oh, you got it. I'll stand back a little bit. Guess it's not too late to change our on build channel no, vehicle. No, it's not. Do we have anything else that might be easier than this? They never said we couldn't just tow it with the tow truck through the first challenge. appreciation for what's about to be underneath the hair. Holy. That's interesting stuff right here. Yeah. Holy crap. You see this for a driveline? Oh, we're breaking some stuff for sure. And then what have we got here? There's, there's an overdrive unit back here. This is a power glide. I got that as old cast iron power glide. This is a Dana 18 transfer case. I don't know what this is. 
I feel bad that I'm about to break this because if we make this motor run, I have to go wheel this thing. Oh, we're gonna have to hook our exhaust back up. That is no bueno not to have it coming out that. Oh, we've got overload shocks. To change the leaf spring position, we got three different choices to choose from. We can just move that up to either one of these little pipe things they've welded on. I'm not seeing a lot of rust underneath though, like in the body and the parts that we need. That's looking good. How do you figure we get to the flywheel cranky thing? I don't know how to get it between there. Okay, get my fingers and arms and <sighs> oh, <laughs> pull the motor out. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Where's some of that free all? <laughs> <laughs> Spray that thing. Oh. Where's the big bar? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good luck. Jeez. Oh, it's just breaking the bolt off. That is not even wiggling. Will the motor come out even? How do you get the torque converter off of it and stuff? Like I've never, I've never physically changed one of these in my life. We're about to. <laughs> Can we start swearing? <laughs> well, it's morning. It's still locked up in case you guys were wondering. So our hand has been forced. We have to have this at Sand Hollow for the first challenge in uh, what, a week and a half. We don't have time to mess with this. So we're just gonna pull the motor out of it. And that motor up there came out of the tow truck back when my dad drove it. So we know it runs. We're gonna just poke it in here, which is kind of dumb because we're gonna drive this thing for like 20 minutes probably. And then it's all coming apart and it's getting diesel powered. So yeah, but I don't have the diesel yet and I don't wanna do all that stuff. This has sort of drivetrain as you've seen underneath. Probably not gonna show you a lot of the ins and outs of this. Maybe just some time-lapse stuff of pulling the motor and we'll go for it. Hey, shop cat, what's up? It's not too late to buy a Jeep. Just waking up. <laughs> Think we should just not, buy a Jeep? It's not too late. We could delete what we have. They won't even know. A Tacoma. Tacomas are overlanders. Yeah. That's out of my budget. I forgot that we have to make an overlander. Yeah, this is my budget. All right, we are to this point. We think the motor is ready to come out of this thing. We got one bolt in it, and we got to get the bell housing to crack loose. We jerk this thing out of there, put our other junk motor back in it that we know runs, back together with it. All the wiring that's catching. What was that? To get this adapter off, you turn it. I don't. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna get rowdy with it. Gonna have to. Oh yeah, we're gonna get rowdy with it. This motor's gonna turn over, even if it's with hammers and well, stuff. Well, got the motor out. Now we just gotta dig that motor off the loft, take the exhaust manifolds, all the accessories off, put these on it, and poke it in there, and we'll drive her to lunch. Are they trying Put to that one on? No, we, we're trying to get the torque converter off. We gotta oh. turn, no, this motor's junk. Okay. But we need it to turn over just enough. Oh my! Look for any kind of a little tiny wiggle. Picking me up. That is not even a little wiggle. Just a little. Knock her loose, didn't knock anything loose. Plasma cutter. Oil pan. <laughs> we'll just pull the oil pan and pull that one rod. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't even looking. Yeah, I passed it just barely. Okay, right there. 
Nine sixteenths. Woo! Well, we've got two out. Wow. Grab the sawzall. It's, we'll cut, we'll cut the sawzall off. But we can get that bolt now. Right there. Ready? Yeah. Okay. That's heavy. We're scoping these things. These cylinders all are looking awesome. Oh. Jeez. Yep. There's the culprit. Got water in the back piston somehow. I'm WD-40, I'll fix it. Free all. Free all. Free all. It'll go. <laughs> knock her loose. Yeah, knock her loose. It's knocking her loose. We should have did this before lunch. I don't know how much we need, but if a little's good, a lot's better. Oh yeah, we own it. Yahtzee. Well, I'll go get the tractor. We'll just, we'll just get that right on out of here. And then we'll get that one down. So Hunter came up with the idea of trying to blow the piston out just for fun with a M80. M, I think it's an M100 the dude gave oh, yeah. us. So yeah. he's going to light it and I'm going to poke it into the hole <laughs> with that. So let's right. do it. Oh, that wasn't as good, that as, wasn't I good at all. I thought the head was coming off. Come on. Smoking. <laughs> Smoking. Well, it didn't, didn't come out the bottom, so it didn't even Dang move. It. Well, that was a good experiment. <laughs> we tried it. <laughs> Keep going. A little more. That might be all you got. Okay, that lifted it. That's enough. Once she clears, let her down a little. Sweet, now we just change everything. Let's so what's this motor. motor then? This might be a 400 small block with Vortec heads on it. It's got a cam in it. It came out of the tow truck. This is what I built this motor for my dad back in the day. It's been whipped, it smokes, but it still runs. <laughs> Which is better than what we took out of here. That did not run. I'm having a hard time moving there. Now we're talking. One in. Get one in this other side. We'll button her up tight. Just hold it. You're fine. I got it, man. I've been working out. Yeah. We got all day. All day. Yeah. We're driving this thing today. Won't have brakes, but we're driving it. It may not have brakes <laughs> when we drive it at Sand Hollow. Okay. Okay, let your jack down out of the way and we'll get this motor to. Oh, we're gonna have to take this front off. That's not gonna work. <clears throat> Doesn't really fit where it needs to fit. We're gonna have to put the other stuff on, so. She's in. Motor mounted. All right, we're getting we're getting close. I just got the carburetor put on. Sean's putting the starter back on. We're not putting new stuff on this thing. We're putting the old stuff we took off. We're reusing radiator hoses and everything's going back onto it. I think it's going to be good enough for the for the couple hours we got to drive this thing. If it's not, we're taking the tow truck and Sean and Hunter will drag me back to the parking lot and we'll load it. So, I don't want to put a bunch of time and effort into it because this is all getting changed. We don't, it's diesel powered, man. We're gonna, we're building something cool and uh, this isn't part of it. This is just part of the initial. I need it to uh, to do a challenge as as is stock, so. 
Brakes are going to be key tomorrow. We'll see if we can get those to work. I got Napa supposedly found me a, a master cylinder, and then probably all the wheel cylinders are going to fail at that point. We'll see. I just need one brake. I don't need all of them, just one. So I think we're to the point where we get to try this thing. This motor hasn't ran for a while. So make sure, climb in, Sean, make sure she's in park. It's road on the, on the dash. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. Okay, I think that's part. Go ahead and hit the starter. Let's see if it cranks. Just twist the key. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Crank. Wiggles a lot. Okay, go for it. Okay. I don't think Lando got our firing order right. He said he changed them one by one, but it's Paul. They're not right. Yeah. He's close-ish, but they're not right. That's not bad, just two off. Yeah, two off. That's good. Pour some Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it run. Arizona makes everything run better. Uh. good she runs hunter she does we that's, said she'd be running today that's better than the other one okay we're basically build a radiator thing all right new day same project the old willies so get a little shout out to my boys at napa usually you don't just have a part for a 59 willies wagon sitting there but uh they found me a brake master cylinder and it's gonna bolt right in. So thank you guys. We are, uh, we're to the brake master cylinder. I weld the exhaust in it and then we bleed the brakes, put a radiator in it, take it for a little jaunt. So we'll have her done by lunchtime unless things go south and we'll park it out of the way and wait for the day we take it down and go wheeling in it. Do you have a small brake line if this twists in two? Oh yeah, I'm, it might be easier to just run brake lines to the front. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got enough. That one's rusted up, it's twisted. Easier. That yeah. came out way easier than I anticipated. I think there's a core on that. Maybe they're making any new ones. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll give that back to them. All right, we'll bench bleed this thing. Back in. I put it in the right way, it'll be easier. Cool. How does that split into the front and the back? Where does... And then this one just goes to the front? Just to one side? That just goes to one side. It's gonna to be too short. We'll have to build a new one for that. And then we'll build a new one from there around back to there. Okay, grab that thing and let's start building here. Close enough. Yep. This for this organization. It is just That may be, well, now we can loosen it and twist it over to the side. If we could twist it, that would help exhaust. Yeah, that's it? what I'm thinking. We, let me loosen, you can leave it tight. Yeah, we'll just loosen this and roll that right on Much there. Better. Dude, we're gonna be right uptown in this thing. Everyone's gonna want one of these. Oh, pull on that. Okay. Pull again. Okay, go back. Oh, all right. There we go. I'll bet it sounds good with a hush puppy on it. We're gonna have front brakes. All right, Hunter, push her down. 
Okay, hold on. You have just pumped fluid to me. Dude, we're gonna have brakes. Okay. Brakes are bled, man. We can stop. Woohoo! So we gotta we gotta hear what the exhaust sounds like. Okay. Give her the old crank. It'll be pretty good, right? And now we just hook radiator up. We gotta fix this fan. Get that all dialed in. And then we take it for a drive. Probably have bolt seats in. No. Maybe air blower the inside out because it's bad. It's very bad. And then we're ready for some on X build challenge. I'm excited to see what all the other teams are bringing. See where we stack up. We're gonna be good. All right, this day's already getting away from us. It's lunchtime already. But grandma has hooked us up with some lunch. So we're gonna go in, see what she's made us and uh, eat it. Check this truck out. Fan made us that, brought it to us. Kid, pretty sweet, you did a good job. Oh, she's got a spread. Looks like burritos. Ooh, we're gonna eat and then back to work on that thing for a test drive. Thanks grandma for lunch, back to work. All right, I think I've got the radiator ready to go. I think that'll work. I think so. I think it'll work. We're gonna go ahead and just put this back on. It's perfect, look at that. Sweet. How can you argue with perfection? You can't. All right, drill right that there. top hole. And go get some bolts. Radiator installation job done. Probably I'd take those off. Why don't you guys go ahead and comment? Tell us what you uh, what you think's gonna fail on this first. Drive line, rear end, front end, motor, transmission. What's gonna give out first on us? But I hold my prediction that <laughs> I get towed back to the trailer. You're making that a goal almost? Well, or? kind of. I don't need any of this stuff, so I kind of want to go out and test it. Yeah. <laughs> See what she'll take. You guys ever order this stuff? It comes in a big round roll, and it's terrible to straighten out. Drill a hole through a board. Here, pull on this. There, turn it straight so you can pull straight. Drilled the hole too big. It's working though. How much we gotta have? That would be close. Okay. Let's see, right behind the shop. Feed her right down the inside of all that stuff. Okay. Hold up. You got 10 fingers, Sean. I know. <laughs> I think that's where. Do you want to come clear the radiator? This way you can come out right there with a chunk of rubber. Yeah, we're good right there. Okay. And then we'll just need to drill a hole and we'll poke it right up inside. I'll cut that off right there. Best for the best, got boat seats. <laughs> and we're just gonna screw them down with. We will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna work good. They're gonna be just fine. Ratchet strap for a seat belt, and you're set.
That's comfy, huh? Just wiggle it out of there. You got her. Ooh, that was a good one. You got it. Oh, that can go out in the scrap bin. That's our gas tank for the old willies. So if we can rob this, I couldn't remember. I brought all of them. We'll get this out and mount it in the old willies. Then we can drive it. Grab my wrenches, please. Okay. All eight of them. Where are you going around the hose? Probably down the frame. We'll probably just take some of that metal <coughs> wire and run it down the frame and self tapper it to the frame. And cool. We don't want fire inside here real bad. We're going to have enough fire in no. here anyway. <laughs> so if we slide it this way, just do it on this side. And the middle's fine. I think there's some <clears throat> eye bolts over there. I quite like our fuel system. I mean, it got us home in the 55. We only used four gallons, so we're coming to a stop. So you got to brace up and, <laughs> no and lay into the brakes a little bit. She's a. <laughs> right? True. That one's liking it. It's not good enough. It's just a fuel tank. Those two are good. All right, three out of four. <laughs> three, two out of three. Gotta get a couple of self tappers and hook the pump down. Solid, solid. Got fuel? Filter's full, it's in the car. Cool. That's that's primed. Try not to chop me up, Hunter. <laughs> Don't tell me to start it if you're not ready. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Right? <laughs> I think all there is left to do is take this for a little test drive. We, the front brakes are dragging really hard. We're hoping they loosen up. If they don't, we're gonna have to tear those apart, but let's go. Oh, seats are good. I gotta go get some gas. Hey, that's good. We're gonna break stuff. Relive the last time yeah. we drove in it. Come to you again. I need boys. Bring on San Hollow. We're ready. Let's go test the four wheel drive. I'll hop. Up. I'll hop in the back with Jace. Just for fun, go grab the fire extinguisher that's in the the old fifty two. Sean's grabbing us a fire extinguisher just 
just cuz. And my door, I'll just hold it. Sweet. The brakes feel good. Was that a track hog? I was. Well, Looked like a track racing. hog. Oh, we we'd hurt his feelings. A few vibrations and stuff. Normal. We're never getting over this speed in it anyway. Other than the stuff that's not quite ready, but I like my odds. <laughs> Where are you? All right, I think she's ready to roll. So, till next time, thanks for watching. If you guys want to see us win in this old Willys, you're going to have to vote for us. The link will be somewhere down wherever she puts it in the screen. And uh, you have to be an Onyx member as well to go vote for us. So, no time like now to become an Onyx Off-Road member and go in and vote for me. So, Chad is going to help me build this thing. So, Fab Rats, Chad's Fab, you can't lose with that combination. We're going to build a cool rig and win this thing. So go vote for us.